Matt Becker with Woodworkers Journal Magazine. CNC routing is becoming more and more accessible to the home woodworker. Like many other pieces of technology, prices are coming down and features are becoming more sophisticated. The benefits of CNC routing for production work such as signs is pretty clear. You don't need to hunt for that letter template in a certain font. Spacing and alignment is taken care of and so on. But a CNC can also be handy for making jigs for around your shop. Take this bowl turning jig for example. It's also known as a Longworth chuck. It features two discs with matching arc patterns. The discs are turned around so the arc channels are an opposite pattern, allowing a system of bumpers on bolts to open and close in tandem around a workpiece for easier sanding and finishing the bottom of a bowl. Laying out this arc pattern for traditional routing is complicated, but it's certainly possible. However, if you're like me, once your fellow wood turners see this jig in action, they'll want one for themselves. That's where the CNC really comes through. After the initial file setup, I'm able to repeat the same process for as many discs as I need to make, all without having to do the layout process over again. If I need to make discs that are bigger or smaller, I just need to make some slight modifications to the file and I'm ready to go. For the majority of the project, it's all through cutting and requires a sacrificial board under the workpiece. However, there are a couple instances that require us to use different depths of cut for some thumb holes to make securing my workpiece easier, as well as a perfectly centered and perfectly sized recess for attaching the lathe's faceplate. The placement of the faceplate on this jig is incredibly important. If it's off center by just a little bit in any given direction, the jig won't be centered on the lathe and neither will any workpiece that I use the jig to hold. Fortunately, the placement of the recess is correct every time. Obviously, getting these discs perfectly round and perfectly centered is a priority, and the CNC is arguably as accurate, if not much more accurate, than any circle cutting trammel jig. Cutting the outer circle presents a potential problem with a piece shifting out of round. This is easily addressed by the CNC software with the option to add tabs to the outside circle. No need for extra clamping or double-sided tape. So here's the final result. Perfectly centered, perfectly round, and with perfectly placed arcs. All that's left to do now is some sanding, applying the finish, and adding the hardware. Then making about a dozen more for my friends with a lathe. Thanks for watching.